Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Tarmac Comp 2022 that comes stock with this aluminum handlebar, and we're going to be swapping out with a carbon fiber bar. This is not the aero fly bar, but any kind of carbon fiber aero bar will work. We're going to be running the cables internally through here. So the reason why I'm showing you this video is because I get a lot of questions asked. Am I able to, to run a carbon bar still in here? Yes, you can. Um, we're just going to have to disconnect these uh, hydraulic hoses from the shifter, cut it, and then we'll have to rerun it per into this panel right here. So I'll show you that process. Uh, we're taking off this specialized layer right here and kind of show you guys how it goes. Pretty easy, but uh, yeah, we'll get into it. All right, so first tape, just like anything, our first job, what we're gonna do is we're going to unravel this tape right here that comes stock on this bar. We should be able to reuse this supercast tape that comes on here as well because it's an aero bar. And usually on these aero bars, we only go up about halfway anyways. So we're gonna try and do that and benefit is that this is a size 58 bike so it's a size 44 center of your bar and the bar that we're putting on there is a 42 so we should have enough tape so let me get this off for you guys and then i'll get you guys show you what it looks like once we're done and also usually the idea behind when building these from stock like this is one of our stock bikes we had i usually build it with enough cable slack in here so i would if we were to run an aerofly bar in here or like a bar with an internal cable for it I should have enough room to spare myself so hopefully i did my job correctly and we'll find out but usually i can get away with it so we're going to take this tape off we're going to take off this end cap and then we'll uh we'll get ready to do the other side all right so we got the cables removed we're going to locate the five millimeter allen bolt right here we're going to loosen this up we're going to remove the shifters completely off here hang do the same to this side as well I'll hang and we're gonna remove this bar now we have to remove the bar and again once we remove this bar we're gonna put the carbon fiber bar in there and we can go ahead and remove our brake colors on there So to remove these from here, you can see there's a little groove point right here on this little bleed port, a 10 millimeter will go here to hold it, and then you need an eight millimeter to loosen this up right here. So I'll go ahead and put this 10 mil, do it that way. And then we're going to break free this. Now, usually when you undo this stuff like this, it might be good to pass a bleed through it, but because these are two, uh, because this is a brand new system and already came out perfect out of the box, I'm gonna remove this. And this is still gonna be bled. As long as you don't squeeze this lever, no fluid will come out of it. So once you unhook this nut from here, no fluid can come out of there. I, I still don't recommend you tipping over, but I'm gonna leave this pointing up and I'm gonna put it on the counter. Well, I'll show you in a second. Like this. that I'll leave this here no fluid is going to come out of here because the caliper is still connected so it's creating like a, a seal for it so I'm gonna leave this up but no fluid will come out here unless I squeeze the lever so we're gonna leave this up and then when I cut this because I have to cut this I have to put on a new thing with jig which is this red piece right here when I cut this um, I'm gonna just be shortening up the fluid so really there's no there's gonna be no fluid loss really so as long as you cut this keep this up and I'll put a new barb in there you should be good to go you don't have to worry about any kind of rebleeding situation as long as you do it correctly so give me one second, I'm gonna get the brake cutter, and we'll be good to go. So we got here our thing with jigs by SRAM, very easy. And then we wanna cut this. We got our hydraulic brake cutter right here. We're gonna cut this as close as we can to this red thing with jigs, so that's kinda all it's gonna allow for. Because we wanna use as much hose as possible. So cut, here, and still see there's no fluid coming out of here because there is a seal already still back there. If you had that bleed port open in the back, then yes, obviously fluid will be coming out. But because it's closed, it's like anything. It's gonna have like a little suction seal. So we still have our uh, retainer nut. We're going to break out our thingamajig. All right, so now I'm breaking free. The left shifter as well. All right, loosen up. So now I can just kind of undo it by hand. Get that set free. Remember to keep this facing up. Now, I wouldn't actually recommend anyone do this at home. I mean, if you want to, you can, because any shop can really fix it. 
But, you know, it's better if you have the right tools, and I kind of know what I'm doing. I've done this a bunch of times. I'm going to cut it here. Yeah! Yeah! Throw that away. We're not going to need that anymore. We're going to remove the shifter nut. We're going to remove the other shifter nut. And now we're going to play uh, fishing with our bar. And we're basically going to take these cables and reroute them internally <laughs> into that bar there. So give me one second. Let's see. So the whole idea is to put the shifter, oh, I'm sorry, the, the brake hose inside here and get it to come out right through there. I'm gonna be honest with you, there's no real easy way to do this. I mean, yes, you can use a park tool and stuff like that to go in there, but you just gotta kind of go in there. Like I said, just gonna be fishing with it, so just shove in there. Actually, it kind of already has a bend, so I might be able to get it in there. See right there, it's poking out. So, let's see if I can get it. Nope, so now we're gonna use a tool to get it. We're gonna fish it, we're gonna poke the hole like this, and we're gonna cut like that. I'm gonna go again and get that right there and that's in there. Boom, one side done. I'll do the other side, I'll fill you guys in. All right, so we got the other line ran into here. I just need to again go fishing for a little bit. I think my arm's in the way, but let's see. Let's see right there. Again, I'm sure this is much easier with me having a stand. That'd probably be much more difficult if you have this bike at home and you do this yourself. Without a stand, Ooh, son of. but also I've done this a couple times. Boom, I got the right tools for it. But there you go, we are officially ran through. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, front plate back on. All right, so I remove this piece right here, leave that on the actual bar itself. We're going to install the little shifter nut right there and we're going to take our stealth magic by SRAM the red piece and this needle and I'll usually screw those together let's reverse thread as well until it stops like that and I'll take that there I'll put it inside and then it's usually threads this is a T10 and you'll usually have these with SRAM SRAM will send this out with like the brakes and stuff like that and you want to make sure this goes all the way down until it gets to the point where it's flush and you have resistance. You don't need to go too hard though to the point where you're going to strip out, strip out the threads, but just the point where you feel that there is uh, stopping on there. All right, so we got everything back in place. We're going to take our shifter that we have here. We're basically just going to press it into here. And we want to push firmly while threading it onto the hydraulic hose itself. that we're getting somewhere like I said it's gonna be short so but we'll make it work go here go here I want to make sure this is tightened up and I'll just rotate the bars down a little bit more to get it to the point working but I know this guy is not gonna to want to pay for new brake hoses Everyone wants everything submitted over, but they never want to pay the money for it. Okay. There you go. I'm going to retighten that up, but we're going to get it going, then we're going to put that back in place. All right, cool. So we got this all mounted. Everything went good. As though it is tight, it will work. We're level. We're level with the bars, and that's going to take away that gap that everyone's talking about right there. So I'm going to get this thing bolted up, tightened up, and then uh, we should be good to go. With this being all hooked up, we're good to go. The brake is connected, and it is a still a perfect bleed on the bike. We're good to go. We got brake. So we're good to go there. I'm gonna do the other side, and then um, we'll tape it up. And then this is the last step. So I got my shifter hooked up. Now I usually unhook the collar, the, the clamp down for the shifter. I just insert it into here. I always find that to be easier for me. I don't know why. Maybe tighten down that nut or something like that. 
and sometimes it doesn't take right away, but it's just always the easiest route for me. Uh, but you can you can maybe slide out there and get in there yourself or whatever, but it's always been the best way for me to do it like this. So whatever works for you, do it that route, but this way has always been the easiest for me. I always feel that I can get the right torque and get the right everything for that. Boom. Done on there. All right, guys, so this is the final verdict. This is how the carbon handlebar turned out. Came out really good. And then for you guys who are wondering, it did seem to kind of fill that gap or that void of the rival that everyone's talking about with the aluminum handlebar. It made it look more flush. Still is a little bit there, but um, that's just the aesthetics of the shifter itself. But came out really good. I did not need to change out hoses. They're the same hoses. The bar looks level, it looks flat, it looks even. The same markings, I use the same tape. Everything came out perfectly, so if you did want to get a bar, uh, pretty easy for the store to do it. Um, I just did it for this guy for free because he just bought the bike from us. So but let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think it came out really nice. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.